What's up, guys? Welcome back to Average Takes. Welcome back. It is week eight has been completed. It is the trade deadline today as you're listening to this podcast. So we'll bring in some of that magic, plus talking about football. And I guess the Rangers got the 2 1 World Series lead, but we'll talk about that when we have to. It's Average Takes. What's up, guys? Welcome back. Roman's yawning on the podcast. Fucking one minute in. It's one o'clock in the morning. Uh, no, it's not. <laughs> Shenny, how we doing? Week eight is completed. I believe you're live. Yep, yep. I hear all that. I hear all that in my headphones. Yep. Check one, two, one, two. Yep, yep, yep. yep. And you're here. You're here. Um. All right, week eight's been completed. We just watched the Raiders lose in terrible um, on Monday night. Lions covered as good teams do. You know, it's a good team. What Raiders. are they now? Six and two. Yep. And they're in the bye. Good team. Top of their division. Yeah, it's a great team right now. Um, they're playing on all cylinders. I mean, Gibbs had a breakout game for them. About time took him eight weeks. Yep, he had one last week. Yeah, but this was a breakout breakout. This was a great game from him. Yeah, Sam Laporta has Travis Kelsey, Rob Gronkowski esque vibes. Well, he is an Iowa tight end. He's played eight. He's played eight games, buddy, and he looks good. I've seen a lot of. I've seen a lot of tight ends that play eight games that look good, and And you've seen a lot of tight ends who play eight games that look bad. Give him the benefit of the doubt. No. I am because rookie tight ends don't ever do good. Are you kidding me? Yeah. Dalton Kincaid's better than him. Mm. 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 I don't like that. Yep. I don't know. Don't like that. Yep. I don't know. I don't know. Um, Raiders can't stop the run whatsoever. The Raiders, mm. the Raiders might be the worst team in the NFL. Raiders. The Panthers would beat them if they played. You think the Panthers beat them handedly? Handedly, probably by 40. This team is was horrible. I don't horrible. even know. I don't even know how they won three games to begin with. Six sacks. I have zero clue. Yeah, so that's they, how you lose the game. They sacks. gave up a lot of sacks just now. I have zero idea. They just fucking suck. Yeah, their whole game plan. I mean, Jimmy G's just terrible. Not their O line was really bad today. I Not mean, often. props to the Lions. They just looked overpowering them. I mean, yeah, the Raiders defense manned up and actually stopped them early in the red zone, but. Couldn't hold them off too long. When that team just drives down and drives down and drives down, yeah. and you're holding them to field goals, there's it's only going to break out. Like, your defense isn't really stopping them. They're still scoring, it, and it ended up doing that. The over did not hit, though. The over yeah, did not the hit. The beginning was so boring. Yeah, it was a slow, slow start. It was 9-0 for the, at least the first half. Well, the, I think the and Raiders scored, scored with right five before. minutes left, and then – or like four minutes left, and then, and then right before that. yeah, Laporta with four seconds. Left. Raiders often scored one touchdown all night. Yep, Marcus Peters had a pick six. Yeah, that one. Was good, that was a good pick six. That's the seventh of his career. Jumped seventh of his career. That's crazy. No, we're not seventh. Seventh pick six of Marcus Peters' career. That wasn't a pick six. Marcus Peters. It wasn't a pick six, was it? Yeah. Yeah. What do you think? Jump the route. Marcus Peters on the Raiders. He got tackled, didn't he? No, no he scored. Damn, I didn't see that. This game was ugly. That was stupid turnovers on in the in the red zone. It was uh, it was ball down light turnover. It was a strip fumble, and then the very next play, Jimmy G threw the ball up, picked off in the end zone. Like he, Jimmy G was terrible tonight. Missed guys all over the field. Missed Devontae Adams wide open at the end. Yeah, fucking. I don't know what the Raiders are gonna do because wide. he hasn't looked good yet, and we're eight weeks in of their three year contract with him. Who's their backup? Brian Hoyer. A to AOC. And then Aiden to O'Connell. Um, well, moving on because Lions got a bye week and then they face the Chargers. Scary. Not good. Um, a lot more to talk about on this week eight. We had the Broncos no longer holding that streak above their head when they see the Chiefs. They finally dismantled it, broke it, whatever you want to say. They beat the streak 16 games in a row. Last quarterback to ever beat the Chiefs on the Broncos was Peyton Manning, 2015. Chiefs only scored nine points. I mean, it was the – score touchdown. Whoa. It was the Patrick Mahomes flu game. Whoa. It wasn't good. Uh, Taylor Swift wasn't there to hang out with Travis Kelsey. 
They I don't said know it was what about you to say about that. Six to twelve inches of snow, and there was not a lick Absolutely. of snow on the field. Yeah, and um, what was I gonna say? Um, did you guys see? Uh, I'm trying to think of his fucking name. I can't think of his name. The guy from Barstool saying that Travis Kelsey and Taylor Swift thing is fake. What's his name? KFC Barstool. Um, I don't know. I don't think it's fake. KFC came out with a video today and was like, "Oh, the scoop on the Travis Kelsey and Taylor Swift drama is that it's fake." This would be doing way too much if it's fake. Said yeah. the social media influencer that <laughs> Travis Kelsey has hired was is doing it all. I saw a picture of her kissing him on the cheek. I don't think she's doing that just for clicks. I mean, she maybe. wants to be the biggest star in the world. There's a lot bigger. Um, ah, bigger stars than T Swift right now? No, 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 no. I wasn't going to say that. Say or a bigger that. male partner she could be with. No, no. Because Kelsey kind of influenced her. He yeah. brings her out. And he that's, brings the, her that's up. the side. I of the, mean, the people Taylor Swift was her. here, and Kelsey just made her go like up yeah. with him. Because those no, are the things the that weren't. I don't Taylor. think Travis Kelsey is a bigger name than Taylor Swift. Yeah, I mean, he's the greatest tight end to ever play the game of NFL. I mean, will be. Nobody knew who Travis was before Taylor Swift. I mean, a lo- a NFL fans <laughs> did. That's not true. NFL fans, but how many NFL fans are there out there? There's literally billions. Okay, billions. And all those Taylor Swift Yeah, fans. why do you think we're going to Germany? Because <laughs> they're trying to adopt more fans out there. <laughs> Well, because they, they already they already are fans. I mean, they're sending the best game that they've ever sent across these. There hasn't been a London game this good ever. Yeah, probably. they have the Dolphins taking on the Chiefs in Germany, at fucking six o'clock in the morning our time. Yeah, and I'm scared because the Dolphins dropped seventy on the Broncos, the Chiefs dropped nine points on the Broncos, Uh-oh. and then they play each other Uh-oh. in Germany. And the Chiefs are going to win. That's how the NFL works. Any given Sunday, I hate this league right now. Yeah, this league, it, I mean, week eight, we're at the point where you absolutely have to forget about weeks one, two, and three. You got to grind. Because, no, as our our, our mindset, oh, our yeah. betters out here in yeah. the world and, like, t- podcasters and all right. this, because weeks one, two, and three is a total different team than you are in week eight. Right. Total different between injuries, scheming. Like, you kind of have to forget about those early games. Yeah, probably. <laughs> That's pro- that probably makes sense. You you have to because these teams are totally different now. Like I mean, I, I Stu Finer said it best. Like the people who won all the money in September never fucking won a bet before in their life. October becomes the grind month. November you're get, you're losing all your bets because you're thinking too much about the week one and twos. Yeah. The that first impact of football laid too much of a foundational footprint on your brain. We, we as betters have to overcome that type of stuff. We have to grind through that, see through. Our job is hard, very hard. Our job is very hard. Yeah. Because like today, the safe play is picking the Raiders plus seven. They suck. That's a lot of points. Suck. Eight and a half on Wednesday when we did the podcast. So it went down a point and a half, and there was no news that was different. Yeah, no no sign of life from the Raiders. So. Um. Chargers stomped out the Bears. Me and Roman were both wrong on this side of the ball. Shani was right. Staley's game of his life, game of his career. Coached the best defensive game he has since he's played, been with the Chargers. Yeah, 100%. I think they only gave up, what, 14 points? He knew it was the game. That's the best 12. the Chargers – was it only 12? Yeah. It's the best the Chargers defense has looked in the last three years. He knew it was the game of his life. Given they did play against a and quarterback was who was a D2 undrafted in his second start ever. Yep. Given that. Yep. Coming off of his first start ever where he blew the doors off of the Raiders. Yeah, so the Raiders might just be. Raiders are just the worst team the right now. Got on. Right now. I won't say forever, but right now. I mean, the Panthers overcame my Texans last um yeah. Night or was, yesterday. That, was, that sucked. How do you feel about that? That was heartbreaking. Um, I mean, the Tank, Texans didn't play a, ge- a great game. Tank all day. Dell is pretty nice. Like Tank Dell. Was the first game back in three weeks. Yeah. Bro, he's nice. He's quick. Uh, I like their other Nico Collins. Um, didn't get their tight end in the game much. 
And their running still hasn't been there really this year. They haven't developed uh, Pierce the way he was last year. So they still got some things to, k- to work their kinks through, but um, that's that's a loss you can't you can't have. Can't, can't let the Panthers beat you there. And the, I mean, for the Cardinal truthers out there, they lost to the Ravens. They now bump into the number one slot. So the tank for supposedly Kayla Williams is is real now. Yeah, it's, it's it's alive. It's locked in. No, it's not locked in, but it's alive because it Kyler should be coming back. Supposedly, well, after not the this game, week. Not this week because they said no. After the game, the coach said uh, Josh Dobbs is going to start next week, and then today comes out Josh Dobbs is not starting. We're going to do Clayton Tune. Never heard of him or Kyler Murray. So it's so it's Kyler Murray. It's guaranteed it's Kyler Murray and Josh Dobbs is going to get traded. I think I don't know where, but. That's what I'm thinking. Deadline well, today. speaking of trade deadline and trading, Josh Dobbs is an interesting name because the Cardinals hold no real affection over him. They traded for him a week before the season started. They gave him an opportunity. He looked halfway decent um, in a lot of starts. I mean, he did lose a couple of games for them late in the game. But pretty well in fantasy, though. I think he's done well over the course of the year. So this is a guy who a team like the Vikings, who now have to search for a quarterback or their season's pretty much done because they have a rookie, kind of like the Bears, guy who's never seen the field, not a real ranked rookie or high-level prospect, um, with Kirko going down. Kirko Cousins, Shenny's absolute dog. I think it's Shenny's favorite quarterback in the league. Yeah, I'm sad. Sad sad news. Sad day, bad day when you hear that. It was the same thing as Aaron Rodgers. Yep. And it I looked bad. Too. I can't wait till um, like Aaron Rodgers Tuesdays comes around and Kirk and him are just chilling, you know, at the rehab center. Division rivals. Chilling with their, their uh, torn Achilles. Up. But they're no longer rivals, I guess. So Yeah, they're probably boys. They're boys they're now. literally polar opposites. They well, I mean, be Kirk, best everyone says Kirko is the nicest guy in the world. Yeah. They said he's like grade A human. Yeah. So this definitely sucks. I mean, it sucks for me and one of my fantasy teams because I have TJ and Addison, and they've both been doing well with Jay Je- 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 Jetta's out. Holy cow. Um, so that kind of really hurts me. But at the same time, we'll see. Josh Dobbs, maybe. AB, can I raise you a... Jabu wins. Oh, a Jabu wins? Jabu wins? No way. Jameson? No yes. way, Jabu Jameis goes to the Vikings. They're going to the Super Bowl. Jameis. Ah, uh, yuck. Um, no, I, I end up th- – I think they get Tannehill. I think they trade for Tannehill. I won't even give Tannehill a bag of chips. Uh, no, they're going to they're gonna swap picks to just get him. No, not even picks. I give him literally – Ten thousand dollars. No, they're gonna do an old. Hey, can I swap you my seventh for your seventh? Yeah, maybe. That's what they're gonna do. Because I mean, Will Levis entered his first start this weekend in the NFL, and absolutely just blew the doors off the hinges. Yep. Because Ryan Tannehill has only had two touchdown passes this year. Damn. Yep. Only two touchdown passes this year, Roman. Uh, Will Levis threw four in one game. Three of them to the wide receiver one who they went out and signed and battled all these other teams in free agency, supposedly, and went and signed. Yeah, supposedly, huh? Yeah, supposedly. I don't think there was anyone battling for him. Um, But the Titans are a team that I expect to be in the news today because – They've already been talking about Derrick Henry. They want a second round pick for him. Not too sure that's going to happen, but that's pretty interesting. Yeah, it is. Because of a team like the Ravens. Mm-hmm. Monte Adams update said after the game that he is frustrated, but he doesn't want to say anything else that might blow up in the media and possibly taken out of context. You were just rubbing it. I don't know what to say at this moment. I truly don't. Yeah, um, that's because in about a couple hours from now, he's going to be on the waiver wire. <laughs> no, I don't know what's going to happen. I definitely think they should trade him. They're, they're literally no point to keep him around. Get him on the Jets. Send him to anybody who's willing to pay you for him. 
Any pick you would take. Well, the Packers need a wide receiver one. <laughs> I don't know how much different Jimmy G is compared to Jordan Love. I seem like the same quarterback to me. Where else? Um, I know the Chiefs always want a wide receiver. All the, yeah, the Chiefs not going to division rival. He's not going to go to the Ravens because the Ravens fucking suck. You never know. Jets is a good one. The Steelers won't won't cough up anything for him. No, nope. we're gonna get Patrick Sertan. Um, what about the Bills? Bills, nice but you, would you trade Gabe Davis for Devontae? Because that's kind of I feel like that's what it would take. I would. Uh, I mean, that's probably having Stephon Diggs and Devonte Adams is probably a nice little one-two punch. It is a lot better because I mean, Gabe <laughs> Davis in hindsight, Gabe Davis is easily expendable. Yeah. But Bills fans love the guy. Yeah. He's made himself a figure over there. He's not the greatest. I wouldn't say he's a top 20 wide receiver. He's a big boomer bust type of. Type yes. Of big boomer bust. Mike Will type esque, yes. where it's like 40 one game, or two 40 points or two points. Yeah, it's, yeah. it's He is a big body, tall man. Yeah. You would have to depart with him. But like I'm, like you, you said, Stefan Diggs. The Dolphins? Devontae Adams. Dolphins. Ty- Tyreek and Tay? I don't know if they just can handle all of that. I don't that. know if he's fast enough to play on the Dolphins. What he about a team well. that struggled the last three weeks? 49ers? No. They like making those big waves. Brandon Ayuk ain't doing it for him. They like making those big moves. He's going to the Saints to play with his old pal, Derek Cargan. Oh. I, I could see it. I the Saints see need it. something to – I mean, that division's up for grabs through the end of the season. Yeah. No team is going to take it over. No. So, I mean, if you really think you have something, that wide receiver room would be fucking wild. Yeah. Mike Thomas, Devontae Adams, and then you have um, Chris Olave, yeah. and then the other San Diego Raheed boy, Shahid. Raheed Shahid. Yeah. Went off last week, by the way. Buddy, that wide receiver That's room would be good. unreal. Yeah. And then Derek Carr would still be terrible. <laughs> I would come on in the backfield. Oh, that team would be nice, and their defense is already pretty it's, fucking it's sad. It's decent. It's decent. So I mean, there are teams out there that can make the move, but do the Raiders want to give up on him? And then at the same time, how many years was on his contract when he signed it? This is last year. Is he a free agent out of this? Pretty sure. Yeah. Don't tell me that. I'm that pretty sure. Year? I thought he had one more at least. Like a three-year deal. He just signed it, didn't he? I don't know, but yeah, because he's. I listened this to Aaron Rodgers year, right? on Pat McAfee show, and he, Aaron Rodgers always said, "There's type of players where you just got to get them the ball, and like in early in the game to get them going." You know, like he's he said, "I don't care if it's a three yard play, two yard play. I'm just getting him the ball so he feels the ball." Up. He can warm up. Jimmy G, I don't know. You have Devonte fucking Adams. He was arguably wide receiver one going in every single year the last five fucking years yeah. and he has one catch for 11 yards i would want out of that place bad 100%. i would want to leave get me out of here oh buddy he's not a big deal he has a big deal but five years one full 140 mil yeah, but he signed wow. that on the package potential out in 2025 i thought he signed that on the packers no, I'm pretty sure he signed that once he came, as soon as he got traded. Well, the Raiders have already fucked him knowing with that deal because he came to the Raiders wanting to come to Raiders because of his fucking best buddy. And then they said, best buddy, you're out of here. We tricked you, Devontae. Did O-U-T, out. Tricked you. What did that phone call was for Devontae? Oh, he had been yelling, screaming. Derek Carr knew he was out like week fucking 12, it felt like. Yeah. yeah. Stop showing up. He, he was getting yeah. squeezed out. Yeah. They're like, oh, Jarrett Stidham? He's like, he's going to win us games. Hell I, no. I mentioned the 49ers, but uh, they have lost three in a row. Brock Purdy, Brock Purdy did not look healthy, man. And then he got his head jarred back again and stayed so, in the game. Yeah. So, I don't know what the hell they're doing over there. You guys might think I'm an idiot sometimes, but I'm okay. looking right, right with this 49ers take. I want to see how Brock Purdy does after a loss. He loses and he's lost three in a row now. Okay, but he got a concussion 
and then they deemed him okay, got his head slammed again in that game, probably loopy. Like, there was no point to play this kid. Yeah. Especially when you got to buy following week. Let him get healthy. Two weeks, yeah. Yeah. I don't like, know. this, that was the dumbest move because now he's probably – Gonna be like Tua last year, where it's like every other game, where it's like, uh oh, does he have a concussion? Uh oh. I mean, they should have sat him, let him get healthy. Then there's a bye week. You take the one week with Sam fucking Darnold. Yeah, that probably would have been ideal, honestly. Because now you're looking at it and going, well, we lost. Kid got beat up, and it. I don't think it's just Brock. Their defense hasn't looked as good as they were last yeah, year. Joey Bosa has not been looking good. You mean Nick? Nick Bosa has been Because Joey good. Bosa finally looked good. In yeah, one he game. did. I, can't lie. Uh, I think, I think like you that. said it the best. I think Trent Williams is truly the heart and soul of that team. And he hasn't been playing the last three weeks, and they've lost the last three weeks. Um, I'm sure that is a big part of it, too. Yeah. Offensive left tackle, blind side, strong side. The best pretty, one in the league. Pretty fucking big deal on fucking for a young little quarterback. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Who, because you know, with big Trent Williams, I'd never have to look that, at yeah, that guy. Right. That DN, don't ever have to look at him. Block every Without time. Trent, you're fucking like, oh shit, oh uh, shit, oh yeah. uh, shit. Very Speed true. wobbles. Very true. But I mean, I can't imagine Debo is that big of a impact. But I mean, CMC, he's fucking literally goaded. Two touchdowns again this week. Touchdown in, I think it's 18 straight games. I think he's going for LT's record. What's that? 28, 29, something like that. 32. Oh, touchdown record, you mean? Oh, I thought well, I mean, about... it, it, LT's was rushing, though. So, no, it was I mean, both, I thought. Uh, maybe. I thought it was rushing touchdown record. No, but I think it's 28. Yeah, I want to say it was 28 and then like 31, including playoffs. I think he has 10 right now. 28, that's a lot. Or maybe he has 10 rushing, and I think he has. Two or three. I don't know, but how many straight games? 18? I think 18, yeah. 18 straight that's a games. Whole fucking season. That's insane. That's a whole season in this day and age. Yeah. That's insane. 18 straight weeks. Yeah, um, man. And we don't get to see it next week because they're on a bye. Brutal. Brutal. But that means he didn't play, so the streak's still alive. <laughs> He'll be back the next week. It's in a bust after that. No, no, no. Yep, 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 yep. We don't say that. Um, that was amazing. That's crazy. This was, I mean, this time last year, that's when uh, he got traded to the 49ers. So we've seen big kind of names get traded from their teams to another team. There's a lot of rumors with guys, you know, Derrick Henry, D Hop. There's quarterbacks out there. Quarterbacks, teams dropping quarterbacks. Every player on the Broncos. Yep. Every player on the Broncos. That's what they said, including PS2. I'm, I'm PSU's been linked to the Steelers, and I would love that. But would you give up a second rounder for him? Yeah, yeah, 100%. Me too. Me too. Just really? because this team is very good at drafting rounds three through seven historically. So, second rounder, wow. Last year, we traded fucking Clint Chase Claypool for a second rounder. So, very true. We turned that into Joey Porter, who's been okay, but need to see him on the field a little bit more. Yeah, they don't play him that much. Patrick Peterson does not cut it. And Minka just went down. I would like to see Patrick Sertain in Steelers uniform. Not going to happen. He's not getting traded. <laughs> um, Minka goes down. Steelers lose. Offense looked a bl- <laughs> fucking abysmal. abysmal. They, I mean, Steelers can't score points. Yeah. Um, Mitch Trubisky, 69 career touchdowns. I love it. Um, probably should stay there the rest of his career. I'll never forget that side if that happens. Um, it's definitely not gonna stay there. The ref, it was a ref play. show in Pittsburgh last weekend. Um, oh, okay. I'm not a big blame the refs person, but every single call was going in the Jags' favor. I'm not a big. Um, I told you so. But your wide receiver one said they had a hope defense. That hope defense held you to ten points. Yeah, well, it's hard when bulletin you, board material. They even came out and said it. It's hard when you can't even run plays because there's just the, there's gonna be a flag on I you. Hope the you whole play time. better next time. There was a nice little hurdle. But... Hope you play better next time, bud. Yeah, he did Pretty score. Sure. He literally hurdled. Nice. nice little hurdle. Score win. Score. What? Score win. Personal goal score. You're not a team player. That's why you don't win. That's why you don't win. I guess that's why they make the NFL. Yeah, it's, yeah. it's hard when your you your starting quarterback gets hurt for the second half. Look, doo doo. 
first yeah. half. And when Mitch, Najee, Mitch, so bad. Mitch Trubisky doesn't expect to play, and then he just thrown in there. I mean, Mitch did he's as good, good as he could. He's good when he's when he can game plan for the team when he's out there for a week. As a backup quarterback, you're supposed to game plan in every game. Like you're going to play. Yeah, but you're running with the twos. You don't have that 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 momentum. Some that, of your that twos flow. are the ones. Um, <laughs> Some of your twos they just there there's there's a lot of um, but it's okay. We're four and three. Um, Jags look nice. The Jags. I don't think the Jags are even that good. <laughs> We'll see right them in the playoffs again, and we'll fucking stomp them seventeen to fucking seven. Oh, right, man, that's not a stomping. That's a stomping in Steelers Nation. <laughs> uh, yeah, the, if the defense holds you to seven points, stomping. That's stomping. Wow. Yeah, if you go four quarters, only scoring seven points. Bad game. Bad game. Stomping. Yeah. Chiefs with nine. <laughs> Chiefs, Chiefs got stomped by the Broncos. Yeah, the the Broncos. I mean. We kind of touched on it, but will Levis is Will Levis the future? I I definitely think so. I was a big fan of him in college at Kentucky, and when he when I saw him drop in the draft, I was like, damn, maybe he's not that good. He dropped all the way down, all the way down to the all second the round, way. and then when the Titans drafted him, I was like, what the fuck? Why yeah, because they did the, the they drafted a guy late in the second last year. Yeah, Malik Willis. Maybe Malik gets is expendable, but I heard I'm never a fan of. The college I never heard of quarterback that comes out of nowhere. You're not a fan of that? Never. Never. Why? No, because the draft always has the one quarterback who they're like, well, you didn't expect this, but NC State's fucking yeah. Yeah. Jeremiah Johnson. And there's been a couple of those last Actually, three years. Is one of those. Texas Tech. Texas Tech's fucking D1, Big 12. I'm talking about like North Dakota State. When the fuck do you ever talk about Texas Tech? Liberty. Texas Tech Red Bull Shooter. Every year I talk about them. They do have one of the best games all, every year. I don't believe it. It's not the Red River Shooter. I lied. That's uh-huh. Oklahoma, Texas. <laughs> but Big 12 has Big 12 defenses. Like they have guys at NFL bound every single year. North Dakota State has fucking. I mean, everyone heard of Patty Mahomes when it was Patty versus Baker. And they it was like 55 to 58. Yeah. Or like, no, more than that. It was like 72 or something like that. Yeah, I don't know. That that was a crazy that's game true. then. Yeah, that that's literally what they do. Patrick Mahomes gives eerie similar similarities to Joe Milton on Tennessee. Big ass arm, no accuracy. That's what people were talking about. Patrick Mahomes coming out of college. Yeah, but he fell right in the lap of a QB whisper one. Yeah, and, and Joe, really? I'm not comparing Joe Milton to fucking Patrick Mahomes, but I'm just saying <laughs> sounds like you are that- tendencies. <laughs> no, no, you're not. Tendencies and and similarities are there, but Joe Milton is one of those guys where he's gonna fall to the third, fourth round, fifth round. He's might not be, really might be might be good. He's not really that good right now. Um, but yeah, and and. I I was never really a big fan of Anthony Richardson coming out of Florida because he's only played like 13 games in in college, but I mean he he changed my mind a little bit. Yeah, he did because you field. you were you you were a big hater coming out. Yeah, when he got drafted, you were like, well that that's a bus pick right there, no matter what. Yeah. Um, but I agree with you on some to extent because a guy like Trey Lance came out of nowhere. Yep. Got drafted very high because. Of the NFL draft combine, NFL combine throws those guys at you who you never heard of. Yeah, always. Oh, we just the when they do all the scouting um, days at the colleges. Yeah, like their combine, the colleges combine, whatever they call that. Um, you find all of a sudden those guys who you've never heard of. I never yeah. heard of Trey Lance until the combine. Never. Then they're like, Trey Lance, strong arm. Kid looks good. Good he body. Went, he went to the same college as Carson Wentz. Carson Wentz. Ooh, look at this. Look at that. No. Bust. Bust. So far. But, yeah, teams, there's a lot of there's a lot of good college quarterbacks. So, teams are going to have to – teams that need quarterbacks, you there, know? There's a lot of teams that need quarterbacks. Yeah, they're going to have to kind of decide, like, do we trade our guy to this team who needs quarterback and we just kind of try to get a quarterback next year? Um, but I think next year is a big – it's a quarterback-heavy draft, um, and 100%. we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. The Vikings obviously need a quarterback. They're 4-4. Four and four. They started off 0-4, I'm pretty sure, on a four-game win streak. Kirk tears his Achilles. Brutal. They have a, they have all the weapons in the world. T.J. Hawkinson, Jordan Addison, K.J. Osborne, 
Jay Jettas should be coming back, but if they don't have a quarterback and I'm Jay Jettas and I'm not extended and I'm not extended out of my I'm bag leaving. yet, I'm leaving. I'm I don't want to play. I'm leaving. <laughs> I do not want to play. People already know how good I am. Right. I do not want to risk another fucking torn Achilles, torn ACL. Especially if I have fucking some rookie who's never played NFL drafted or not drafted D3 yeah. guy or something. I might fucking say, oh, my fucking hamstring hurts again now or that. Oh, it's re-aggravated it. There, there's a lot of decisions that guys have to make. And I mean, it sucks because I, you never really want to, you never expect an injury. You never really want to like, oh, I hope this guy gets. I really think teams need to plan better for this type of stuff. I agree. I mean, there's a lot of quarterbacks who are on the open market, a lot of older veterans. Yeah. Um, I really think teams should start thinking about that type of stuff. They yeah. always want the young buck with no experience. Nothing yeah, like always. I don't understand that. I mean, I do because the NFL owners want to save money and the team wants to save money, so there's no point paying the veteran minimum to a guy or I could pay a freaking minimum. rookie minimum undrafted you get- and you know that's stupid because it's literally like one million dollars but i mean you have to have it when you sign guys like Devontae adams to 140 million and you know all this other shit but yeah, sometimes like- when you have a 38 year old quarterback a 36 year old quarterback having a guy readily available who knows your system already yeah. is way better I mean, Ryan Fitzpatrick is a perfect example. Of well, he retired. No, but, but he is a perfect example of having a guy ready and waiting. Always a 35 and older backup. Yeah. Who the starter was younger. More well, we've seen a lot of injuries so far this year. Yeah. A lot, bro. a lot of guys go down. Like, you know, we haven't seen uh, Jones in a while, Daniel Jones in a while. That's back to back weeks. Yeah. And they have what? And Rodgers goes down. Like old backup. Yeah, and he just went to the hospital. Yeah, he got hurt too. They had a third stringer in. Yeah, from fucking Tommy DeVito. Yep, never heard of that guy. Yeah, this is Italian good. stallion. I think he had negative one yard passing. Oh no, no, he scored a touchdown. Rushing. <laughs> yeah, he ran Rushing. it in. I don't know how that team lost either. Bad game, bad game, bad game, bad game, bad game. Terrible game. Not even wanting to talk about it. But the Giants, <laughs> the Giants did trade their defensive tackle. Um, yeah. Leonard Williams. Didn't they just sign him to a bag? They just signed him. I feel like in the off season, I felt like it. Yeah, because I oh, know that was the Jets. His brother, right? Or are they, are they related? Quinn Williams and Leonard Williams. No, because Quinn Williams has a brother on the Jets. I'm pretty sure there's like a Quinn and a Quincy or something mm-hmm. like that. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Something like that. I don't know. I don't know all the names. Of everybody, sorry. I don't play Madden anymore. Quincy's the D lineman. When back in the day, that's the only thing that I swear I used to love video games about is that it would drill names of people in my head. Yeah, that's the one thing. Like, yeah, I watched football and I try to absorb everyone's name, but it was truly Madden that got me names and numbers. Yeah, I have to agree with that. Or like MLB the show, like that would help me so much. Helps me a lot in baseball. My brain's pretty easy. You have to make one one play, and I'll pretty much remember you. I don't know. One good play. If I'm watching you, if I'm watching the game and you make a fucking good play, I'll be like, damn, that guy's pretty good. I don't know, man. No, D lineman. Yeah. Really? Did you get a big sack or something? Sack, strip sack? Damn, that, I remember that. I remember that play. Yeah. It's good. It's good. But I don't watch the Jets, so that's why. <laughs> <laughs> well, Zach Wilson ended up looking like a dog the last like five minutes of this game. Five minutes of fourth quarter and then the end of the. Overtime, he looked halfway decent. Yeah, stew. People are growing on Zach Wilson. Um, I mean, no. Where are the Jets? Four and three, two. Their defense is just so fucking good, dude. It's like the Steelers. Their defense is so good, but the offense cannot score whatsoever. Yeah. So it just depends on whether they have a good matchup or not. Can scored, they stop? Scored in forty three seconds. So. Yeah. I think I think they had a PI. Can you, can you score in forty three seconds and have a bad offense? I think they had a PI that got him down. Yes, you can. Yes, you can. Yes, you can. Yes, you can. <laughs> yes, you, can. Mm. you can definitely. Mm. Um, I think the Rams are fake. This is the Rams are one of the teams that I talked about earlier when you have to forget weeks one, two, and three and how yeah. good they were. Yes. I do not think this is a good football team. I agree. I think we have to burn that out of our mind. Puka Nakua, Cooper Cup. They're a bad football team. 
I mean, that's where I'm at right now. That's where my head sits. Their QB one sprained his thumb. Oh, and no one wants to talk about Herbert had a sprained broken finger the last three weeks. Nobody cares about the charges when they hurt. <laughs> but a sprained oh, thumb. Sprained thumb on your throwing sprained ham? thumb. Ham? Sprained <laughs> thumb. I didn't know Herbert's fucking middle finger was broken on his fucking throwing hand. Snapping hand. That ball <laughs> that you get. That hand that the ball hits. The that hand. hand. You're in fucking shotgun half the game. Half. Half the game. <laughs> Oh, that's your coach's fault. Better game plan for your what you have as a quarterback. I mean, Chargers one, so I'm not arguing. Yeah, but no, the Rams are bad, is what I'm saying. Yes. Uh, yeah, sure. I think the Cowboys. I mean, what defense is just okay? Insane. Okay, but what good team have they beat? What are we? Uh, let's let's go back here. Or are we gonna do this about the th- same thing we did about the 49ers? No, and no, no. Go I'm going five backwards. Game win streak? I'm going backwards. They're gonna go so five they game they lost to the Ram- uh, lost to the Cowboys, lost to the Steelers. Steelers aren't great. They lost or they beat the Cardinals. Good. Lost to the Eagles. Beat the Colts. Lost to the Bengals. Lost to the Niners. Beat the Seahawks week one. We don't think about week one anymore. Okay, Bob. Bad team. Rams, bad team. All those losses that you just named were all top tier teams. Okay, but not a single win versus a good team. That's fine. But teams are supposed to be there winning. You're not going to face those guys. Again, only the 49ers yeah, and the Seahawks. That yeah. are the only two teams you face again. And you went one on one. I'm telling you, they're not a good team. <laughs> we'll see. Not we'll bad. see how they, the they season they haven't been a good team. All right. That's fine. That's what I'm saying. They, they haven't. And I mean they, if you want to argue, argue the Colts are a halfway decent team, that game went to freaking overtime. No, I'm not gonna argue the Colts are halfway decent team, but because they're not, but <laughs> but that was just been all those losses you just named were they seem pretty fucking solid teams to me. They haven't beat a good team is all the argument I've tried to make this whole time. They <laughs> have not beat one of those good first, teams they lost to when they have the toughest schedule in the NFL the first eight weeks. Oh I'm assuming the second eight weeks schedule. are not gonna be as tough as the, Who's the next five toughest schedule. Uh, yeah, it's probably gonna be you know Panthers. what? Now, now we're gonna go into it. Who's the next five? Okay. They got the Packers, Seahawks again, then the Cardinals, you, Browns. Three, four W's right there. Oh, that's no, pretty four good. W's. That's a pretty good. That's All right, a we'll, see. we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. Schedule. We'll see. The next four. That could be four W's. I mean, Green w's. Bay's minus three point favorites right now because Stafford is quote unquote injured, and it's going to be a snow game. No, you never know. November <laughs> weather's not real. <laughs> never know. <laughs> You just threw that out there as a guess. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought that was facts. No. <laughs> you think he knows the weather in a week? In a week, dude? In a week? Right now it's 45 and cloudy is what oh, they're, they're predicting. So confidently. I, I say was, everything confidently. I thought it was snowing. He knew. He said it's it it snowing in my mind. Might be. I'm just saying if the Rams could pop off four wins and then all of a sudden. Oh fuck! The Rams are good. Are the Rams I don't think good? they pop four wins off in those four games. Cool. Then they pay the Ravens, Time Commanders. That's six wins. Saints, Giants, 49ers. <laughs> There's no way the Rams Time win. Tell. They could finish eight and eight. Yeah, eight and eight. Can't. Not a good team. Can't finish eight and eight. Make the playoff. No, can't finish. No, eight and eight. no. Nine and eight, 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 that's, Not a great team. That's the, that's the worst part. I'm over the Rams. Yeah. Eight and eight. That's fine. You can be over them. I'm still holding a little hope. A little hope. Yeah, I don't think they're done yet. I mean, it's gonna. They're gonna Not play. Schedule. They're gonna play a great game versus the Packers. And Especially the Packers with their the 49ers probably. absolutely tanking right now. That division is kind of up for grabs. Well, the Seahawks are in win now mode. I guess five and two. They're Our gonna get to the playoffs and get stomped again, like they did last year. Probably. I mean, Geno's not a playoff quarterback. If 49ers get in as a wild card and they play the Seahawks in Seattle, yeah, that's easy. They win by 40. Easy, easy money. Yeah. Um, Saints, Colts, Roman, you're under, died before it even started. I mean, this game was 21 to 20 in, at halftime. Yeah, it was. Um, I really don't even know what to say. The two teams didn't really play defense. Oh, I know what to say. Uh, Taysom Hill had a great game, actually. Taysom Hill, I felt like he was the only guy I saw all over my screen. Because I am I watch Red Zone, obviously, if you guys can't tell. Um, Taysom Hill went one for two passing, 44-yard bomb. And then had nine carries, 63 yards, and two tutties. Yeah, that's stupid. Taysom Hill game. 
should not get any fucking Alvin, attempts. Alvin Alvin Kamara just... had two touchdowns as well. Yeah, Alvin Kamara should have all those touchdowns. And Raheed Shahid had three receptions, 153 yards, and a tutty. Yeah. That's wild. Saints dominate the Colts. Eagles commies back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Yep. People think Sam Howell's a good quarterback again. He's not. <laughs> scored a lot of fantasy points. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah. Did. Someone got the lucky end of that stick. He did. I I picked him up and put him on my bench and he scored 0. 0.3 points. <sighs> yeah. I picked him up, put him in my QB1 roll. And he's 45 points. Oh my goodness. Fucking. But I know that won't happen often. I need Justin Fields back ASAP. ASAP. And uh, has does anyone in the world have news on Deshaun Watson? I heard he's in jail. I heard he's getting massaged. In jail? Massages in jail? Well, that's not good. I, I haven't even really heard much about it. He has a different injury, it feels like, every injury report. I know we, say, we keep saying that every week. But he, he was out for like concussion, then he was out for a shoulder injury, then he played for a drive, got hurt, out for a shoulder injury, out for another shoulder injury, and now we're here. Yep. Well, and when quarterbacks play with that stupid brace on, it, they're like limited mobility, it feels like. Yeah, and they suck. Yeah. The only quarterback I've ever seen do good with a brace is Baker fucking Mayfield. <laughs> well, the Browns are. I mean, their defense has been playing top five defense. Yeah, the defense can't fucking... 24 points. The, the Seahawks did score on the last, like, 15 seconds of the game. Last 38 drive. seconds. Yeah, it was the last drive of the game. Whoever had the ball last. Mm-hmm. One of those types of games. I mean, that was the only score in the fourth quarter. Yeah. In the third quarter, there was only two field goals by the Browns. Yeah, and... The game sucked. Without Nick Chubb, they, I mean, they're, they're, they struggle. No, it's struggled. not. It's not just without Nick Chubb. I mean, you're playing without Nick Chubb and your starting quarterback. Yeah, but Deshaun and Nick Chubb. That's that's a big duo to miss. It is big, but Deshaun never like since he's been on the Browns, he hasn't really impressed me. I agree. As a fan, no, as, but as he's a, a lot he better. A big game. He's a lot he's, better than. He's a lot better PJ name Walker. than PJ Walker. Well, he plays better than him too. I don't think. I mean, he PJ had a good game. But yeah, I, and that's what I'm saying. I don't think he would have scored would, 39 actually, points yeah. against the Colts I, last week. I don't know. He, I don't, I'm not going to argue that. Could be the same just in like, Could be the same quality quality. quarterback. I mean, when Deshaun, when Deshaun's on, he's on. When I don't. Been on, I, I think PJ is just face value. Yeah. Obviously, Deshaun Watson's a better quarterback than PJ Walker. Yes. But my only point. <laughs> when you play games, if PJ Walker can win games, you're might as well just going to keep fucking keep playing. Yeah. Get this guy healthy. I don't think the Seahawks have a great defense, though. Yeah, I don't either. I don't know. But I don't think if Deshaun's well, but playing. Once the tape is out on a guy, though, this team is destroying him. Yeah. That's the point. Is that I don't He think... had one game because they went, oh, what about this guy? And then they went, no, P.J. Walker time now. Because they threw in, at first, the other backup. Yeah. Yeah, but he P.J. Walker did play. He beat the 49ers and the Colts, so he's 2-0 and as a starter. And then he just lost to the Seahawks, two and one. I thought because DTR played against the the team before that. I think it was the Ravens, and he got stomped. So once the tape's out, and I think DTR is better than fucking PJ Walker. Doesn't seem like it. it doesn't obviously. <laughs> it doesn't, seem like it. It doesn't seem like it. I mean, PJ Walker's had NFL starting experience though before. Yeah, yeah. That's the, the thing. He, no, he was on the Panthers last year. Yeah, oh, or Panthers. two years ago. No, oh, he's been on the Panthers. Yeah, he was on the Panthers and was a starter for a lot of the time. So, I mean, DTR is a rookie out of UCLA. UCLA. Yeah, yeah, we'll see about that. Uh, Ravens Cardinals. This game was actually kind of fun to watch. Um, the Cardinals tried real hard to come back, but the end. Yeah, fucking couldn't really do much. I think it's Nelson Aguilar. He fucking muffed an onside kick, hit him right in the face mask. It felt like <laughs> Cardinals recovered it, scored field goal. All betters who had Ravens minus nine point five dead. Pissed. They were pissed at that very moment. They were pissed. I was with I was with one person. Who had, <laughs> I was with one. He's angry. 
<laughs> I don't know why they're going to uh, announce that they're going to sit Dobbs, though, this week, unless they're actually going to trade him. That's that. It makes no sense. The quarterback or the coach said, we look, reviewed the tape, and we're going to go with this guy. I don't know what that means in the NFL, but to me it sounds like you're hiding something that's underlying effect that what's going on. Yeah, because at the end of the day, Kyle uh, Kyle Murray's your guy. He's your guy. You ha- I mean, you paid him a bag. Whether you keep him this offseason or not, you kind of have to he's let so him Rob build up better. his interest. Yeah, he's probably yeah. better. Than- Unless you have a team call you right now. If a team calls me and I'm the one in seven Cardinals and they go, hey, give me Kyle Murray. I ship him. I'm going. Well, what's it going to take? Yeah, yeah. Because you're you're taking in for me. You give me late third, fourth yeah, what, round. What was, do you remember CMC's package at all? I thought it was two was first lot, rounders, two first and a second. I don't remember yeah. honestly. It was one, yeah. But Kyler coming off of ACL, you don't really know and expect. But a team like the Vikings, you need a jump because now you're kind of duck in the water. Kyler and the Vikings, that does not sound good. I like that. Because then you got Jay Jettis coming back. You got weapons for him all over the field. I guess so, yeah. Yeah. I, I mean, mean, he did. They did. Five, two, the Cardinals three, two, three, two, did go. I think they went 10 and 0 to start. Maybe it was 9 and 8 and 0. Yeah, like a couple years ago. Yeah. But, and they had D Hop. They had fucking Christian Kirk, I think. They had some weapons. But Chandler Jones, not crazy. Yeah, not crazy. <laughs> Chandler Jones, not CT, <laughs> JJ Watt. And team team looked pretty fucking good, but yeah. I don't know. I don't think he gets traded, to be honest, just because he ha- he's coming off. Like, I feel like it's hard for him to get traded, learn a new playbook in a couple weeks, and then yeah. you're boom, you're back I in the like game. You actually. have to make a new freaking playbook for him, too. That type of quarterback. Yeah, probably. A lot of well, you definitely have to design a couple a of like new things because he's not a Kirk. He's yeah. not a sit back and yeah, no, hundred percent. You know, yeah. and maybe you go call a guy that's going to do that, Carson Wentz or something like that. Is that what they're thinking? Yeah, well, I don't know, but I'm not going to sit and let this uh, rookie who they have well, I've never even heard of. Well, they, I saw they had, and I mean, he's not any good, but they had Nick Mullins on the practice squad who. 49ers backup? Yeah. Has NFL ex- starting and experience, but he's obviously not like the greatest. And I think they have fucking Peterman. I think that was their other quarterback. Not good either. Oh, he's not. But so yeah, I would definitely I mean, guys gotta be calling around right now and seeing what's going on. He said Kevin O'Connell did say he's like, Yeah, you should you should see the the amount of inquiries I've gotten. On my phone. <laughs> well, I'm sure there's guys that Carson Wentz, Kaepernick was texting people last time Aaron yeah. Rodgers went down. Like, I'm sure all those guys, Matt Ryan wants to come back. Yeah. I'm sure those guys want that job. Yeah. Probably. Why wouldn't you want to be QB1 in a wide receiver room that's stacked? Stacked. Yeah. Tight end, running back. You got the guys. Easy. Yeah. And I don't know. I don't. I'm. And Kirk's a free agent at the end of the year. Yeah. And I. I've had no. In my mind, if I'm the Vikings, I go. Do you really think there's a shot we could get uh, Kylo, Kyle Murray, whatever? Yeah. I mean. Yeah. Because are you done with Kirk? Might as well. You might. I mean, at at the end of the day, you have to really think like. We don't have a quarterback. We have a team we think is really good. Yeah. In a division that, yeah, the Lions are up there, but we could still have a comeback and either a wild card or something. It's still relatively early. Yeah. yeah. And they're hoping for a Jared Goff type person where the team gave up on him, you know. Yeah. And let's right off. new beginning, you know. I mean, what kind of sucks is that the Colts rookie went down because I, Gardner Minshew's a stud yeah. of a backup. Yeah, he is. You yeah. know, there's not too many of those guys, like, readily available. Yeah. And where was Kevin O'Connell before the Vikings? Because I'm sure he's had backup quarterbacks that have been in the same system. Friend. That's why he is the Nick Mullins guy. Maybe. Oh, no. O'Connell came from Rams. Oh, yeah. Did he? Yeah, I'm pretty sure he's a McVay guy. Yeah. I'm like 99%. Yeah, I don't know. Crazy. You call him be like, hey, give me Stafford. <laughs> no. You guys suck. No, not Stafford. <laughs> no. The Rams are still like They're calling the Bucks. midway. Baker? 
Their Bucks found their guy. <laughs> but yeah, Bucks locked. I think I they really like him over there. Yeah, I, yeah. Guess so too. I think he's been pretty decent since he's gone over there and played. Yeah, he's. Um, they were on a bye this week, though, right? No, they no? played Thursday against the Bills. Oh yeah, you're right. You're right. For totally forgot about that game. My weekend's been long, I guess. Yeah. Um, yeah. played Thursday against the Bills. Oh, I don't. Think he I might be my new fantasy quarterback, so I might become his number one fan. Uh oh. <laughs> I, I got a Browns bigger jersey somewhere in there. You like? I'm never one of Browns. <laughs> <laughs> I got a Browns Johnny and Manziel. Second favorite quarterback. If he's if he wants to play, I can see to call him. What about the Steelers? Johnny Football. Steelers don't need him. We have the best backup in NFL history. Sixty nine touchdowns. Are you shitting me? I'd give Johnny Football another chance. Yeah, he'll know. After watching that documentary, I'd put him in Minnesota for sure. Yeah. Hey, you can go to a Timberwolves game every once in a while. <laughs> That's about it. That's about it. You can get snowed into your driveway. <laughs> Who's the Bills backup? Who do they have? Oh, they have uh, Case Keenum. Can Case Keenum back? Case Keenum, and that's not a bad one. No. How did, um, how did he do when he was there? And on duty as a Minnesota Miracle. Yeah, and they took oh, him to the championship. Oh, you know the Stephon good. Diggs play? The, oh, yeah. The whiff tackle? The whiff tackle, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, that was their quarterback. That's not a bad move. No. Um, yeah, because there's not. Marcus Mariota? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> He can probably win you a couple games. He's yeah. not the future for sure, but he can. I mean, he's, it, a, he's a serviceable NFL quarterback. You yeah. think about it, it you got to go Jameis. Yeah, I Jay think Bo Jameis is the best option on the market if he's on the market. <laughs> the Saints have just fucked him with all these guys that they just get over him. Yeah, New fresh start for him would be awesome. That's why I thought the Saints were going to be. He can learn after Drew Brees. He then becomes the next quarterback, but then they just bring in fucking Derek Carr. Or are they ready for a car to fucking hit the road? Because they threw Taysom in there a lot. Yeah, Taysom they should just roll with Taysom. No, they tried. He stinks. They tried. Yeah, he's not great. He's only good in those like packages. In the packages, yeah. That wildcat. Yeah, and the and the Eagles pulled the most scumbag move ever this fucking weekend. Oh, that was the greatest. Oh. I've been waiting for them. Been waiting for this. What? They fucking fake. They push, pushed push. it. Gave it to fucking DeAndre Swift, ran the outside touchdown. But they also got stops. They it's did. The same game. They did. Yeah, he fumbled though. So they that the ball. That's the perfect, the perfect time to run it. You finally get stopped. All right, this team thinks they're fucking badass. Yeah. They're all gonna die, crash down. D Swift off the edge. Yeah, that's the easiest play call if you're surrounding. It was, it was a scumbag call because they, the Commanders had no timeouts left. You, yeah, but you, you could have kneeled it. You could have kneeled it out. And you would have won the game. These teams got to know it's coming, though. What? These teams got to know it's coming. No, I'm talking about from a betting standpoint. Mm-hmm. Commanders plus seven. They score, go up 14. Luckily, Sam Howell had that dog in him. <laughs> Went down and scored in 40 seconds. Yeah, but still lost. Plus like, seven push. Push. Was a push. Yeah. I'll, after after that scumbag move, I'll take a push after that. <laughs> <laughs> you fucking knee the clock out and you take your win. You don't become a scumbag just like your fans. No, Nick you, Sirianni, no, you, you definitely you become a scumbag. You embrace the Philly, yes, and he did. No, he Phillies did are that. dead. Are Phillies are dead to me now. You embrace the Philly. You'll be back next week. I hope they lose the NFC Championship just like their baseball. You'll team. be back next week. No. no. I mean, uh, I think we touched it all. Dolphins, yeah. Dolphins. All right, uh, all right. Before we, before we get out of here, one player who's traded tomorrow or today during the podcast. One guy. Patrick he's Sertan. He's traded. Devontae Adams. Joey Bosa. Oh, I would love Joey Bosa to get traded. I would love it. You're three and five. You need to rebuild. What's wrong with you? Start thinking about next year, buddy. He's a, he's cut at the end of the year anyway. Buddy, he better? finally he had one good game finally. Who's better? Dude, though, our rookie we drafted, 45, with Tui. Tui. Oh, he is He's a stud so far. He has the like second most pressure as a rookie. He has any Corey legit back. Yeah, too legit to quit. That guy's a stud. Um, I am going to say Tannehill. Ryan Tannehill's trade tomorrow. That's the easiest one in my book. If you want to know, the, the starting pitches were announced if you wanted to know. Yeah, who? Same what we just talked about. We have to play any. Oh boy! Oh, yeah, no, Diamondbacks lose this sucker. 
Four to one. Four to one still no, alive. No, that no, was no, my no, rejection. No, no, four to one no, still no, alive. No, 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 no. Four three still alive for the Diamondbacks. Love it. My sweet projection is no no good anymore. And I lost money on it. Just to let you guys know, I did bet with my pick. And I'm a loser with you guys as well. If you copied, oh. if you rode with, we definitely lose. Why do we have to have a bullpen game? Huh? You don't have another pitcher. The D backs? No, they don't know. Our road to uh, Vikings trash? still did win with out Kirk Cousins. Yeah, did true, very true. Jaron Hall, that's the kid's name. Yeah. What did he go for? He played like a quarter. Mm-hmm. They were up by three 20, for four, 21. twenty-three uh, yards. Yeah, they were by twenty-one. When he came in. Took a sack though, mm-hmm. zero yards lost. So it was like a running. Um, Alexander Madison, big letdown after everyone was hyping him up. Devon, uh, yeah, he's on my fantasy. I'm team. calling Cooks gone. Guys. I'm calling the Seahawks. Give me Drew Locke. That's a fucking good one too. I think Drew Locke has that dog in him. Young Jeezy on the sideline. Yeah. <laughs> Um, Dalvin Cook gets traded too. I think, just, I think he just gets released. Derrick Henry that traded. could be happened, but Derrick Henry traded. All right, another wrong being average. Yep. 